So by Sunday freestyle, you know how it goes. By Sunday, this will be well cured, full of flavor, ready for the gongo soup. Kaboom! You know it's Warlord representing for Hooray Freestyle Adventures! What am I say? Tell them fix them dentures. Kaboom! Freestyle Nation, welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back, hope you're having an amazing day Freestyle today, I'm back in the kitchen, but guess what I'm not cooking, it's all about some corn pork I have some pork that I'm going to corn and put it down for a couple days Then I'm going to boil some gungu soup with it As you know, in America guys, if you go to the store to buy some corn pork, you just get some pork out of the salt water No flavor to it, nothing So, if you want the real authentic thing freestyle, you have to do it yourself So, I'm going to show you how I corn my pork So, in the meantime guys, just like, share, comment if you haven't yet subscribed yet Bing, hit the subscription button, join the freestyle movement, you know the vibes Let's go, you know it go Yes, my freestyle nation, as I said before guys, it's all about some corn pork As you know freestyle, if you go to the store to buy some corn pork or corn beef, all you get is just some pork or some beef out of a bucket of salt water No flavor, nothing to it, so If you want to get the real authentic corn pork or your corn beef guys, you have to do that for yourself And I'm gonna show you how I do my corn pork or corn beef at home Right here guys, is some nice pork, you know what I mean? And right here I have my salt, scallion, thyme, scotch bonnet, pepper A little all purpose season right here And your corn, corn pork guys, and you know have your Pimento berries I just love the flavor of the pimento guys and in the meantime guys in this jar I have some of the pimento berries that I crush so I will now go ahead and start the process of my corn pork the orange freestyle way. so just stick and stay freestyle in the meantime guys remember to like share and comment if you haven't yet subscribed yet hit the subscription button and join the freestyle movement and to all my new subscribers welcome aboard out of love love and love alone now let's go guys Let's start the process of our corn pork, the orange freestyle way. You know the vibes. So freestyle right here guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut up my scallion. As you know guys, the scallion give your meat, whatever you're doing, a nice flavor. And freestyle, I'm gonna give you a story. Right, so like about in the 90s, right, right, like in Jamaica, like we didn't really have any, any fridge. I know those times was the real hard time in Jamaica. And what is that? My dad used to kill like, like um, pig and goat and stuff like that. So, like if a father kill a pig, like we we'll probably sell like half of it and keep it the next half. But you know what? We didn't have any fridge arm to keep the pork. What my father would do, right, like he would corn the pork and keep it in a bucket. So for days freestyle nation, it's all about corn pork. And trust me, that pork will be in the bucket for days and it never spoils. Believe me, it never spoils. So yeah, so when you're carrying your pork guys, it can last for weeks without being spoiled because it is well cured with the salt. So what I'm doing now is something that I learned as a kid growing up. Right here I have some thyme. I'm gonna cut up my thyme. And guys, the scotch white pepper is extremely hot so I'm gonna <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get a glove so I can rub it in the right way. So just stay tuned. So my scallion thyme and my scotch bonnet is now prep freestyle and um, it's now time for us to put it on the pork and as you can see guys and as you know when you come on to me I keep it only when you come on to the culture nothing to me like the culture you know what I mean so yeah so the little things that we learn as a kid growing up we still have it anyway and we still try to capitalize on it as much as possible so right here is my pork guys and right here is the scallion, the thyme and the scotch bonnet pepper. I'm gonna put them on and here you have it. I'm now going to add my crushed pimento berries. Get the pimento berries right here. 
going to the fermenter all over, crush fermenter. And even though I crush some, I'm still going to add some of the, the old ones. I don't know if fermenter gives anything a nice flavor to style. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to massage, massage it in the stellion, the thyme, the scotch brown, the pepper, and the fermenter. And as is right now, guys, I'm already getting a nice smell, a nice flavor from it. And the next thing you want to do, guys, is to add your main ingredients. And your main ingredients will be your salt. Salt is the main recipe. So you want to sprinkle the salt all over your pork. As it's not going to go on the fridge, it's going to stay out and cure the right and proper way. So after adding the salt freestyle, you want to massage the salt all over your pork. So every piece of the pork is covered with salt. Add some more salt. And yeah, that's what before guys. Um stuff like these that are stuff that I grow up on. Now I mean add uh, pepper. Yes, freestyle in the older days, you know what I mean? No fridge, but life still have to go on. So I used to just kill a pig, sell half of it, and current half of it. So if it is current pork. So we still have a little thing that in our way. So we know so we got the store and then the corn pork and then give us a little thing about the salt pork. We don't know say I know corn pork. You want the real authentic corn pork you have to do it at home. So right here freestyle, here you have it. My corn pork is now completed. I'm going to leave it until I'm going to give you probably like about four days. I mean, today is Wednesday and I'm going to use it on Sunday. I went to Jamaica and I bring up some green gungo. Have it on the freezer. So Sunday, I'm going to do some gungo soup with corn pork. Guys, it's not going to get no better than that. So just stay tuned for that. In the meantime, freestyle, remember to like, share, comment if you haven't yet subscribed yet. Hit the subscription button, join the movement. Corn, pork, or rain freestyle way, you know the vibe. So by Sunday freestyle, you know it, but by Sunday, this will be well cured, full of flavor, ready for the gongo soup. So just stay tuned for that. You know the vibes. Thanks for watching freestyle. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Subscribe as yet, the subscription button, join the movement. Three steps.